One evening, a Cherokee elder was teaching his grandson about the internal war that humans face. The conflict is between the two wolves that exist inside all of us, he explained. One is unhappiness. It is anxiety, worry, rage, resentment, grief, sorrow, and self-pity. The other is happiness. It is happiness, love, hope, tranquility, benevolence, truth, and compassion. After giving it some thought, the grandson inquired, Grandfather, which wolf wins? The wise man replied, The one you feed. Feeding the happiness wolf. Dr. Martin Seligman claims in his book, Authentic Happiness, that life circumstances only account for 10% of the factors influencing a person's happiness or unhappiness. We all understand that money cannot buy happiness, but is 10% really all there is? According to a study, as long as people have a meal on the plate and a roof over their heads, there is no apparent difference in happiness level between a person earning $20,000 per year and someone with millions or billions in the bank. The billionaire may be safer and more comfortable, but they may not be happier. Happiness is a subjective experience that mostly depends on our genetic makeup and thought patterns. Although we may not be able to change our wacky DNA, which tends to lean toward the tragic end of the happiness spectrum, we can indeed work on changing the way we think. Happiness is a choice, changing your thinking and behavior. The majority of people have unconscious, automatic, and autopilot thought patterns. They frequently react similarly each time a particular stimulus or circumstance occurs. According to Deepak Chopra, a writer and guru, most individuals are enslaved for their entire lives. They are a collection of nerves and conditioned reflexes that other individuals and situations regularly set off to produce entirely predictable results. We must overcome our conditioned responses to be free from servitude. We must cross boundaries and encounter the limitless. In the grocery store, Someone has the nerve to cut in front of you with their trolley, and you decide to punish them by becoming extraordinarily agitated and hyperventilating. Five minutes later, a friend compliments you on your weight loss, and you feel terrific and puffed up with pride. You feel happy again. We are like trick monkeys. If you pull the tail one way, you receive one response, and if you pull the tail the other way, you receive the opposite. This results from our conditioning and can be altered by giving these automatic responses more awareness and attention. What is made very evident by everything said so far is that no amount of pursuing the ideal external circumstances, a lot of money, the ideal work, or the ideal partner will ever be sufficient to produce enduring happiness. Having a billion dollars in the bank won't change how you feel on the inside as long as you continue to be a slave to your reactions. Happiness is a condition of being that results from our traditional ways of thinking. Happiness is a choice. Choosing happiness is accepting responsibility for our own inner state and letting go of the notion that our problems are the fault of other people or the world. It means being willing to go beyond our beliefs about how things should or should not be, and how others should or should not behave, and replacing them with concepts that promote our happiness. It entails letting go of the need to be a grump about anything that bothers us constantly. If you want to be happier, you must recognize and shed light on your unconscious, reactionary tendencies and choose which wolf to feed. The next time the unhappy wolf of fear, worry, rage, jealousy, grief, self-pity, or resentment visits you, recognize that you have a choice over whether or not to feed her. Understand that happiness is a choice. If any of the negative patterns talked about in the video resonate with you, spend the next several days paying close attention to your inclination to fall into that habit and consciously deciding to stop it. Replace self-criticism with self-acceptance, hatred with forgiveness, and grumbling with thankfulness. Pick which wolf you want to feed because happiness is a choice.